Hey guys, what's going on? This is Gabe here with The Biggest Popcast, and this is my SummerSlam recap. I want to know what was your favorite match of the night. My personal favorite match of the night, man, I think it was only two matches that were actually good. It was Cesaro versus Owens. Cesaro jumping off of the top rope, jumping out of the ring. That was awesome. Now, one thing I want to get off the bat that's really been kind of irking me is that New Day title change. Now, I'm not saying they don't deserve it, but I'm saying the way that happened was really, really sketchy. And then also the Taker ending was really sketchy. I mean, I didn't even see him tap. The camera wasn't even on him. Like, it, you couldn't even see anybody tap. I did not see The Undertaker tap. I think that was probably one of the worst things Paul Heyman's probably written ever. And he's a genius. I don't understand how he could have written something that bad. Or maybe somebody had influenced him from WWE Creative. I don't know. But the way that match ended, maybe it was because uh, Taker's physical condition, he can't wrestle that much or that long anymore. So maybe that's why they ended the match with so many submissions. But... Regardless of the fact, I still think it was kind of poorly written. Now, the NXT TakeOver Brooklyn, now that was a show. What? That Bailey versus Sasha Banks match was incredible. Incredible. Those gals threw down harder than Ziggler and Rusev. And speaking of that match, that match sucked. I mean, I know Ziggler is a great character. He's a great athlete. He's a great everything. But for some reason, this rivalry is, shouldn't be like lagged on for so long. I mean, they're taking the Lana angle and the, and the Rusev angle way too far with this. It should have been clean cut. It should have been done a long time ago. And Summer Rae's involvement is just going to be piss poor too because she's not much of a wrestler, I don't think. No disrespect to Summer. I feel like the first half of SummerSlam was boring and the second half was really good. Also, that Divas match was pretty, pretty cool. I was surprised at how good that match was. And then again, how can you be surprised? You could expect so much from the four girls that were there, which is Paige, Charlotte, Sasha Banks, and Becky Lynch. Those girls went ham. And also, the Brie Bella crying at the end of the match because Becky Lynch stiffed the hell out of her? Classic. I approve of that. Now moving on to Cesaro. Cesaro versus Owens. Now, this is a personal thing for me. A lot of people talk smack about Kevin Owens because of his weight, and I'm really, really not cool with that because the guy is relatable, he's agile, he's athletic, and most of all, he's powerful. I mean, this guy is doing things to people that other people can't do to him. You know, he's wrestled Cena so many times already, and already put on a great show. He, wrestling with Cesaro is just going to be great too. And also big ups to Cesaro. Cesaro was awesome. He did an amazing job last night jumping out of the ring. Never seen Cesaro jump out of the ring like that before, but big ups to you, bro. You got to, you know, all the all the wrestlers on the roster are stepping it up because of this NXT stuff. NXT is making the product better. NXT is gaining steam, a lot of steam. The tag match was awesome. The only thing I didn't like about the tag match was the ending. Everybody did a great job, except for the luchadors. For some reason, the luchadors were messing up a whole lot. But still, Callisto was a man. Moved very fast in the beginning of the match. Him and Darren Young put on a great opening sequence in the match. Very, very good. I really liked it. But one thing I didn't like about it was the sketchy as hell ending. The ending of that match was very, very anticlimactic. I mean, I'm glad the New Day won because they do deserve it, but... Regardless of the fact, it just was kind of sloppy, it was kind of messy, and, and in some way, it was kind of predictable. Congratulations to the New Day, because New Day rocks! New Day rocks! Now, Cena and Rollins, that was a really good match, but you shouldn't be surprised because Seth Rollins and John Cena both are really good workers. John Cena has learned a lot from Kevin Owens, and I'm surprised I didn't see that sunset powerbomb flip thing that he's been doing lately. Regardless of the fact, that was a great match. Seth Rollins put on a great show, and Jon Stewart interfered, and I guess made, I don't know, Jon Stewart angle. The Jon Stewart angle, I love the guy, he's great, the Daily Show was awesome, but I really don't know what he was doing there. Especially when he was talking to Paul Heyman at the beginning of the show, saying how much of an Undertaker guy he was, and then he interferes in a Seth Rollins match. It both kind of weird. doesn't make sense to me. You talk about The Undertaker, that you beef with Seth Rollins on your show. I mean, it did make sense for him to interfere in Rollins' match, but it didn't make sense for him to talk to Heyman the way he did earlier on in the show. I don't know. Creative is, is kind of weird on that. Last but not least, my favorite match, The Undertaker and the Brock Lesnar match. All in all, SummerSlam was 
pretty mixed for me. I mean, there are some high spots, there are some low spots, but you can clearly see the roster starting to take note of NXT. NXT is changing the way the roster is moving, the way they're calling spots in the ring, and all that stuff. Having Kevin Owens on the main roster was definitely one of the best things that they could have done. I don't know why a lot of people are still on the F Kevin Owens bandwagon, or why people are still making fun of KO for his weight. He's a big guy, but so is Vader, so is Yokozuna, so is Bam Bam Bigelow, and all those guys are big badasses. You're going to go up to Vader and tell him that he's not a good wrestler, or he doesn't have the, the look because he's a fat guy or something? That dude will punch you in the mouth. And same thing goes for Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens is an amazing badass. He's awesome, he calls great spots, and he's a great worker. I mean, there's no reason that people should be shitting all over him because he's awesome. I I know. I'm a Kevin Owens guy. Yep, it's true. I am. I mean, it's, 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 it's really true. NXT is making the brand better. NXT is making WWE as a whole take note of what wrestling is like. And because NXT has a smaller audience, they're not really afraid to bring the independent style of wrestling into the mainstream audience. So, yep, there you go. That's my SummerSlam recap, guys. All in all, I gave it a I gave it a 7 out of 10. It wasn't bad. The first half was pretty bad. The second half was a little bit better. The Undertaker Brock Lesnar match could have been a little better. The ending was really sketchy, but you know, what are you going to do? It's creative. So guys, this is Gabe from the Biggest Popcast. This was my SummerSlam recap, and I'm out. Thanks. Peace.